Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a wear test on the brand new Guerlain L'Essentiel High Perfection 24-Hour Wear Foundation. I've decided that I'm going to make this a two-day wear test. I don't normally do that, but of course, I do have the original counterpart. So today, for my first wear test, I'm going to wear this alone. And then tomorrow, we're going to do a side-by-side -side just to see. So if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a periodic knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I was so excited to see that this new baby arrived on Selfridges. So looking at the internet, this is currently available on the Guerlain website as well as Selfridges, which is where I picked this guy up. So I will put the links down to both websites down below. Now, if you aren't familiar with Guerlain, I am a huge fan of their licensure natural glow foundation so when I saw we have a more matte counterpart I wanted to give it a try now my skin type I do have more normal to dry skin I will say now that it's winter time I do notice a little bit more dryness I just exfoliated my skin so that it wasn't as dry and flaky so let's go over the details of this foundation so as you can see right away the packaging is exactly the same as the original natural glow except of course it has this matte finish to it which I think is really really beautiful so you can get this on Selfridges for $48.50 I do believe regularly it's going to be $55 but little tip if you order from Selfridges some brands are a little bit more affordable because of the exchange rate so that might be something you want to consider Upon further research, okay, about the prices. So I believe this foundation is actually a few bucks cheaper than the original Natural Glow Foundation because on Selfridges, the new High Perfection Foundation is $48.50, but the original Natural Glow Foundation is actually $52. But the price of the Natural Glow Foundation at Sephora is $60. So by the way, if you have free shipping from Selfridges, get this foundation from Selfridges because it's going to be significantly cheaper. I think this is what I'm guesstimating. The High Perfection Foundation when it comes to Sephora is going to be around $55. Not sure why it's a few bucks cheaper, but this is all my speculation, but I just thought I'd share. Now this claims to be extremely long wear, 24 hours. Please don't wear this for 24 hours. And it's supposed to have a velvety matte finish without a mask-like effect. On the website, the kind of main claim, it's made with 96% naturally derived ingredients with a high perfection finish. It says the other 4% have been chosen in good conscience. So even though only 96% is natural, 4% we chose because you needed it. We thought about you. So obviously long wearing natural matte coverage is going to be the details of this now it has spf 15 in it you're getting a one fluid ounce and it is made in france Ooh. So as far as the color that I got, I chose the shade 0 to N. Now I actually use 03 N in the natural glow, but I have noticed this is more of a summer foundation for me. It's just been a bit darker for me. So here is the 03 N from the natural glow. I have not yet tried out the 0 to N, so we will see. So you can tell which one 0 to N and then 03 N is. I do have more of a neutral undertone to my skin so I tried to stay with the N. I almost feel like my perfect shade is probably a mix between these two but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so like I said for today we're not going side by side with the natural glow and man I'm gonna look funny tomorrow when I have half and half but we are going to just do a full face of the high perfection. So I'm gonna start off with a normal base of mine. This is the Smashbox Primerizer. It's just a really nice hydrating primer which I I really prefer. This definitely works great for wear tests just because I'm so familiar with it and how foundations work on top. All right, so I'm gonna do half of my face with a sponge and just to test it out, I'll try with brush, but normally I'm not a big brush person. So I'm gonna apply one pump and see how much that will give us. So I prefer, especially with a sponge, to spread the product out with my finger and then buff it in. I'm using a BK Beauty sponge. That's really perfecting. Oh, 
I always forget to do this. Obviously, as you can see, I have very sensitive acne prone skin, though my skin hasn't been very acne prone until of course I do my first foundation review in months. You know, I've had really great skin lately and it's, uh, you came at a bad time, girl on. So if you're around my skin tone, this is a very good color for me right now. And I'm gonna put just a second coat on top of my friend over here. And it did a pretty good job covering that. Let me put just a little bit more on the cheek and nose. And I will say, I did apply a little bit more than I normally would for an everyday basis. So I got one pump to do half of my face, but I probably could make it work for a light coverage with one pump all over the face. But here's how we're looking. Straight up, this looks beautiful. I would say it has a medium coverage, leaning a little bit more full because you can still see the redness from my uh, blemish. It really perfected it and I love this color on me. I was worried. Normally, I am not a big brush person as far as foundation goes, but why not? We'll try it out. So I'm going to do my typical technique. So this does definitely have a slight oxidation to it. So you can see this is the freshest squirt and then as it sat on my skin, it did deepen just a bit. So maybe consider that when purchasing your own shade. I'm going to use a BK Beauty 101 brush to press it into the skin. So while I don't like foundation brushes, I really find that BK Beauty is my favorite go-to brush for when it comes to creams and liquids when, if I am using a brush. I mean, there you go. I think I do prefer, as I normally do, just my sponge application. I feel like it gives it more of a natural finish compared to the brush. And I didn't notice one side half having more coverage than the other. There's something about a damp sponge that just leaves it a little bit more skin-like. So you're not gonna get full, full coverage with this foundation, but you can get pretty close, I think. And it does seem to build up on coverage. And here is what we're looking like. I would say one and a half pumps is going to do you good for a full face. Two pumps is a bit much for me. My skin looks so good. While it's not overly glowy, it's not super matte either. You can see as the light is hitting my skin, there is a little bit of reflection there, meaning there is a slight glow, but I imagine when I do my powders and the rest of my face, that might go away. This is beautiful, even on my dry skin. I don't notice any emphasizing of anything. Maybe right here on the, the scar, you can see it's a little bit icky. And and maybe slightly around the nose if I'm being extremely picky. But I really do think this looks gorgeous and I'm obsessed with the color of this. This is an amazing color for me. So <laughs> it's a little bit messed up, but you can see that the natural glow has been sitting on my hand for a while and it still is much more glowy. Let me just blend it out a little bit. Yeah, it still has more glow to it compared to the high perfection. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup. If you're not interested in seeing that process, I will put a timestamp right here. But if you are interested in seeing the whole shebang put together, just let, let's go. Don't know what you have heard, but you sound absurd. Can't you see this is real and you know how I
I have had the foundation on for about half an hour now. I really like it. Okay, let me get closer so that you guys can take a closer look. I did dim the lights so you can get a little bit more of a realistic look into your eye. It's a soft matte finish. It's not super flat matte. If you have deathly dry skin, it's not going to be awfully dry on you and cakey looking. I think my skin looks really perfected. I did go in with the setting spray since I do have a drier skin type, but I'm really excited to see how this looks as my natural oils kind of pop through. I'm digging this. I cannot wait to try these side by side tomorrow, but I'm not minding this velvety matte finish. I think it is beautiful. All right, you guys. So I will update you in a few hours and we will get this wear test going. I did also want to show you how the foundation was looking on my iPhone in front of the window. It just looks so amazing. <laughs> All right, I will update you soon. So just checking in at the three hour checkpoint. I will admit I haven't done much today. Haven't worn a mask. I'm about to go outside for a walk, but here's how the foundation is wearing. Around my smile lines, there's a little bit of indentation, but really nothing to worry about, nothing out of the ordinary. Overall, I still think my skin looks quite flawless, quite smooth. Guys, I really like this. I don't know, I might like it more than the original. I can't wait for tomorrow just to see how they compare side by side. All right, so it is about 7.30, so I've officially been wearing the foundation for eight hours. I'm gonna take it off. But we're looking good. I did a pretty long walk outside today. I wore my mask and there was a little bit of transfer, but nothing crazy. I'm like extra careful with my masks though to make sure they don't really mess up my makeup. I'm not a big fan of it, but I didn't notice much of any transfer. But again, I wore a very, very lightweight mask that wouldn't press too much on my skin with the exception of here. So I did blend it a little bit, but here is a close up of how things are looking and I am very, very happy. So I am noticing a little bit of breaking up happening around the nose area, which is always, always the first to go. But there isn't too much indentation in the smile lines. It does look a little bit more drier in the mouth area, but everything else looks fantastic. So since this is a couple day wear test, I'm excited to try this out tomorrow because I'm really loving it. And then also, as you can see, the cheek products last lasted really well also. Day one, really good. I'm really liking this. I'm so excited to see the 1v1 <laughs> that we have tomorrow. So I will check in with you guys in the morning, but so far I think it's really great. My main tip is if you have drier skin, make sure you use a more hydrating base, but I do feel like this is going to be a great foundation for many different skin types. Just adjust accordingly as needed. If you have super oily skin, have a little bit of powder with you because even though it's supposed to be more of a velvet kind of finish, it has a very natural sheen to it that is stunning. Oh my goodness. This is 20 times better than the Gucci foundation that just came out. That one was kind of similar in that it had more of that velvet matte kind of finish, but this Guerlain it's walking all over it. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Hello world, good morning. We are now on day two of the wear test. Yesterday, I pretty much decided I really, really like the foundation. So today it's it's gonna be which one do I like better? So we have the Natural Glow Foundation, which is the original. It has more of a skin-like finish, supposed to be a little bit more glowy. Whereas the new one, the High Perfection, is supposed to be more of a matte velvet finish and more long wearing. So I'm gonna prep my skin really quickly. I just put on moisturizer, but for my primer today, I'm gonna try out different products. So I'm using the Gucci Silk Priming Serum. I've been enjoying this. I like this more than the foundation. It's not overly moisturizing like the Smashbox Primerizer that I used yesterday, but I just applied a pretty thick moisturizer. So I want something that's gonna be a little bit more smoothing and make my skin a little bit more silky. Okay, so difference between these these two are I have different shades. This is shade two and this is shade three. So one side of my face is gonna be darker than the other. <laughs> it is what it is. So on this side, I'm going to apply my high perfection foundation. I'm gonna do one pump and I got asked if it had a scent. It does. It has the same scent as the natural glow, but honestly, I would argue that it's a little less smelly. 
I like the smell just because I've never smelled a foundation that smelled like that. So it does have the kind of almondy scent. No, it's, it's just as potent as the natural glow, I guess. So yes, it does have the same scent. It's just so good. So good. I love this foundation. All right, let me put the natural glow on the other side. And I mean, you'll see this. This is not my color at the moment. Now, with the high perfection side, I did feel as though I needed less product, but that is because it's more of my skin tone, so where the unevenness is, you can't really see, whereas with this foundation, which is just a bit too deep for me, you can see where there's not an even amount of product, so obviously I would apply more. So here we are, high perfection side, natural glow side. And by the way, I did not use the same side of the sponge. You put a little bit more of the high perfection right in this area. So I can see that the natural glow is definitely catching a little bit more light, but the high perfection side definitely has a little bit more coverage. Oh, this is just a good foundation overall because my skin looks beautiful on both sides. I don't know, is there a side that calls out to you a little bit more? They both look really, really good. Like I thought I almost liked the high perfection side better, but now I'm like with them both side to side, they're both so beautiful and honestly it's kind of similar looking I feel like there's not much difference between the two I think the consistency of the high perfection is also a little bit more easy to spread onto the skin like something about the natural glow I feel like I have to work into the skin and it's not bad here we are this is the final layer I would say honestly they both look really really close to each other they both look really really smooth the natural glow has a little bit less coverage than the high perfection, but both are reflecting the sun a little bit. The natural glow a little bit more so, just a touch more glowy. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I think when I apply the rest of my makeup, I won't be able to tell a difference between the two, but where the difference is gonna lie is going to come in with wear time. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I'm back with my makeup done. I'm not really wearing anything on my lips. I just put a little bit of a just a tint from ColourPop on, but I'm about to go down and eat breakfast after this. So there's no point in lining, lipsticking, lip glossing, but here is how the skin is looking. Normally at this point, when I do a side by side it is harder to tell the difference between the two products especially since they were two different colors I did kind of try to aid to make them look as close as possible so what I can tell from an immediate difference is I do think that the high perfection side is just a bit more smoothing to the skin and that is going to have to do with that more velvety matte finish because it doesn't have those reflective glowy properties so it's going to flatten as opposed to to highlight those areas and those bumps but other than that everything looks beautiful on both sides i just i love this foundation in general it's such a beautiful product and both sides are really great and you know how sometimes when they'll do an updated version like this of a new foundation and you can't really tell that they were actually related they're two completely different foundations these two foundations i feel like definitely are from the same line have very similar ingredients but they have those differences that the brand claims so you can decide what's better for you and what looks better right now but to me in person everything's looking quite similar honestly so not going to do as detailed of an update but i might pop in one time and then we'll close this video off so i'll see you guys later hi y'all so it's 1 30 so i've been wearing the foundations for four hours so i did just want to give you a quick update everything looks fantastic on both sides and both look equally as good i asked my mom if she could tell a difference between between the two sides and she said she could definitely tell that this side the side with the high perfection the new foundation is a little bit more matte and i didn't tell her which side was which she said this side was more matte so yeah it's a little bit more matte but both sides look equally as good maybe just 
one side's a little bit more glowier than the other. All right, so it is about 5.30 right now, so I'm here with my uh, final check-in. As I've been saying, both of the foundations are great. I honestly do not believe one is better than the other. It just depends on what you're looking for, maybe what your skin type is, but I do think both foundations are good for both skin types. So if you do prefer a more glowy finish, the natural glow is gonna be your go-to. If you prefer a more natural matte finish, then the high perfection is gonna be your go-to. I think based on what I prefer, because I do have a little bit of more textured skin, you'll see, especially in this area right here, like I don't have super smooth, flawless skin. I personally do prefer the new high perfection foundation. Both are really beautiful. Just like yesterday, they both kind of wore down in the mouth area, breaking down just a bit around the nose. But other than that, both sides look fantastic. Guerlain did it again. They have a really great foundation formula and this high perfection is definitely gonna be in one of my new go-to rotations. So with that being said, you guys, that is all I have for today's wear test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this foundation down below as well. Are you gonna pick it up or did you already pick it up? If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.